Let's take a look at a key case in criminal law for the area of strict liability. This case is Sweet versus Parsley, which was heard in 1970. The defendant rented a property out to tenants, which were university students, and during their tenancy, drugs were found within the property. Stephanie Sweet was then charged uh, for being um, the manager of premises for production of cannabis. The defendant denied liability on the basis that she had no awareness that it was going on because she'd rented the property out to them. The question with the court was to decide whether this offence was a strict liability offence, which no mens rea would be needed and therefore she'd be guilty, or whether this was a truly criminal offence, in which case mens rea would be required for her to be guilty. The statute appeared to suggest that it was strict liability and therefore her no lack of knowledge was irrelevant. So originally she was convicted because the statute suggested that it was a strict liability offence. However, Stephanie Sweet appealed and the verdict was reversed and she was found not guilty. If there is a dispute about the nature of the offence, the court should first consider what the wording of the act would suggest. And even when there's no indication of mens rea, we do still presume that Parliament would intend for mens rea to be there. So we assume that Parliament would want her to have the knowledge that the cannabis growing and taking was going on in order for her to be guilty. So in order to determine the true nature of the offence, we need to look outside of the Act and look at what the intention of Parliament would be. And Parliament would want to only convict people if knowledge was there. So if it was a quasi-criminal offence, then it would be more so strict liability. But because this involved production and involved the use of cannabis, this is a truly criminal offence. And because of that, it needed mens rea. Because Stephanie Sweet didn't have mens rea, as it was her tenants that were growing and using the drugs, she didn't go there very often to check on them. She was found not guilty when the case reached the House of Lords, which is now the Supreme Court. This is a really good case to use for quite a few areas. Um, we've shown you it here for strict liability. So if you have a question involving strict liability, maybe some scenario application, then you can use this as an example. It's also a very good case to use in a morality question or a justice question, because there is quite a little bit of a debate as to whether the end outcome was correct um, in this question here. And you can also use this case in the area of judicial precedent, as Stephanie Sweet's conviction was reversed. You could use it as an example of reversing. So quite a few areas to use this case.